guys, it's me, Emily, here for another video. And today, we're going to be doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag. But, we're going to be doing it with a bit of a twist. So, I thought it'd be kind of a fun idea to do a mix on the Unpopular Opinions book tag, because everyone's done it. It's a really old tag, but since I'm new to booktube, I thought I should do it. But, I think I'm going to do it in a little more of a fun way. So, what I was basically thinking was, after each question, besides the first two, because it just makes more sense this way, I will also add an extra question of the reversed. So it'll make more sense as we go along, so let's just get right into the tag. Okay, so for the first question, it is a popular book or series that I didn't like. For me, that would be The Circle by Dave Eggers, and this book, you can ask anyone I know, they will tell you how much I hate this book. This book basically follows a girl who joins a company on her first day of the job and it's her dream job and but basically the company starts to take over a little bit too much into people's lives and technology gets a bit too advanced and it's supposed to be like kind of scary but nothing about it was scary and I hated it and I have more about this in the answer to another question later but yeah. So check out that book if you want. I know people who like it, but I hated it, and there's no ending, and I DNF'd it, but I read the couple pages at the end just because I was curious, and nothing got better, so yeah, I don't like that book. The next question is an unpopular book or series that I did like. So the unpopular book or series that I did like, even though most people don't, is Carved Mark by Veronica Roth. And a lot of people don't like this book because they thought it was boring, and other people don't like this book because they think it's controversial with a misrepresentation of chronic pain, but honestly, I've done my fair share of research on this, and feel free to comment below if you disagree, but I saw a lot of people in their Goodreads reviews that have chronic pain saying they didn't feel misrepresented by this book so for me that's not an issue and i did think there were parts of this that were slow but overall the characters is what saved it for me because i love the two characters in this book and i'm honestly exci excited for the sequel so let me know down below if you agree with me or most people but i personally actually enjoyed this book okay so the next question on unpopular po opinions book tag is a love triangle where the main character ended up with the wrong person or an OTP that I didn't like. And for me, the o OTP that I do not ship is Zoe and X from The Edge of Everything. So I really liked this book. I gave it four stars, maybe 4.5 stars. I don't quite remember, but um, I got signed at BookCon by Jeff Giles. He was so nice and funny. I really liked meeting him and it was a great experience and I really do like this book. But the scenes between X and Zoe are so cringy because the insta look is just so real. Honestly, I think it will get better as the series continues, but just in this first book, I did not like them together. And it's not like I don't think I could see them together in the future, it was just so much insta love that it was a lot to handle. For my first question, then I'm going to start doing the reverse thing, is this question. And since this question was asking which love triangle or OTP I did not ship, I'm going to reverse the question and make an unpopular opinion about a character that I thought ended up with the right person. And for this question, I was having some problems thinking of an unpopular opinion, but this one is a bit controversial because there's differing opinions. So for me personally, I really did like who Tessa ended up with in the Infernal Devices. And this is not necessarily unpopular opinion, but there's definitely two sides to the opinions about who Tessa ended up with in this series, even though she kind of technically ended up with a mix of people. I don't want to spoil, so, you know, if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. And personally, I like who she ended up with, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, the next question is a book genre that I hardly reach for, and 
For me, that's gonna have to be romance. I don't particularly love romance books. I can I can like vibe with a contemporary, why a contemporary, that's like usually okay. Sometimes I get a bit bored in it. Although I love the two all the boys you've loved before trilogy. That is an exception. Love that trilogy. But generally I don't read too much romance or contemporary in general, but more contemporary than romance. Now for the reverse of this question, a genre that I reach for a lot. And for me that would be thriller and horror books. I know a lot of people don't like thrillers because there's a lot of thrillers and they get repetitive, or horror because it's scary, or just in general sometimes also repetitive, but I personally love that genre, especially in YA. There's not that many to choose from, but when I can find hidden gems, they're usually great. So I really like that genre. The next question is a beloved character that I do not like. And for me, this is easy. I'm gonna come back to uh, the circle. And uh, this character is Mae Holland from the circle. She's the main character and I hate her. Basically, she's just so ignorant that it's cringy. Like the entire time that this company is taking over with their too advanced technology, which is literally just like cameras, she has literally no idea. Like not a single clue that this company is getting into her personal business. And I thought, you know, maybe there's gonna be some character arc, but no, I, I looked at the end of the book. There, there's no difference. The entire thing is her just being ignorant to literally everything. And that bothered me so much. And there's also one scene in this book you can skip this part of the video until the picture of the circle goes away, but honestly, there's this one part in the book where she decides to like go out kayaking or canoeing and it's like obviously closed and illegal and she still does it and she gets in trouble for it and acts surprised that she got in trouble for it and that her job found out, the job that's like too nosy. Like what was she thinking? I don't know, you tell me, but she, is the epitome of ignorant. So now for the reverse, um, a character that most people don't like, but I did like. And for me, that character is going to be Alaska from Looking for Alaska. I know a lot of people don't like her because they just found her to be like petty and full of herself and just arrogant, thinking she was like higher than everyone else. But personally, I liked her because I don't know, I like the mysterious girl characters usually, or mysterious guys too, just mysterious characters I usually like, even if they're kind of cocky about how they think of themselves. But I really liked her as a character despite being so mysterious. Even though a lot of people don't, I just, I didn't find her being mysterious to be like cocky or anything. Like I still thought she was just cool and had a mystery behind her, you know? So. A lot of people don't like Alaska, but I did. Okay, so the next question is a popular author that I can't seem to get into. And for me, this is probably going to be a bit of a kind of a cheat answer because I've only read one of her books, but I was really expecting to love it and didn't. And for me, that's gonna be Alexandra Bracken. I've read Passenger by her. I did not like it and I was really expecting to, but I think the problem was that I had it pitched to me as a scavenger hunt through time rather than like, it was more of like a treasure hunt kind of situation and the plot didn't even get to that point till like over halfway through the book. So I was just really expecting something different and I think that's mainly what factored into me being disappointed by it. But I really, really, really want to read um, the Darkest Minds series by her. So hopefully that'll be able to change my mind. Okay, so now for the reverse of an unpopular-ish author that I really like is going to be Stephanie Perkins. I've only read two of her books. I've read Anna and the French Kiss and There's Someone Inside Your House. And I just finished There's Someone Inside Your House yesterday and I actually really enjoyed it. I gave it, I believe, a four stars. And I thought it was good besides the ending, honestly, and I, I just had a good time reading it. And in the French Kiss, I gave five stars when I read it earlier this year. I really like that too. And I know a lot of people don't like that series because of how it deals with cheating and a 
other things, but I personally didn't have much of a problem with how it was written and I just thought it was a fun, like fluffy read. And there's someone inside your house a lot of people have problems with because it has a lot of romance for a horror book, like a slasher book, but I personally found there to be plenty of slasher, so I really enjoyed that as well. So now on to a book trope that I hate. And for me, this is gonna have to be the random discovery of a possession of magical powers. I'm sick of when characters just wake up one day and realize that they have some hidden magical ability that's somehow better than the most powerful magician or wizard in all of the lands from just doing nothing. Because that's just so unrealistic and unfair that I, I just, I hate it. And now for the reverse, a unpopular book trope that I really like. This is not really an unpopular book trope but just one that's not very common but I really like it whenever it happens in books is a heist like I love Six of Crows I love any movies with a heist like the Now You See Me movies honestly those are some of my favorite movies just any movie with like a heist or dramatic breakthrough like I love the movie Baby Driver it's not really because it has a lot of heists and I just love movies and books like that just stories with a heist are honestly like always my favorites. The next thing is a popular booker series that I have no interest in reading and for me I'm gonna have to go with The Bronze Horseman. I'm not sure who this is by but be a picture somewhere and this book I don't know much about I just know it's historical romance that apparently is problematic so I have no interest in reading it even though it is pretty popular. Now for the reverse and it's gonna be a booker series that I really want to read and I couldn't really think of an unpopular booker series that I want to read because why would I want to read an unpopular book or series so I'm just gonna go with a book or series that I really want to read and that book is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. I have yet to read a Sarah J Mass book and I think I'm slightly more excited for this series than Throne of Glass because Throne of Glass seems to be dragging on quite a Bit, and this one will be a one and done sort of trilogy and I don't know how I'm gonna feel about the first book but I know I'm gonna love the second book because I've never heard of anyone not loving the second book so very excited to read that I just haven't been in a fantasy mood recently but I think with the winter I'm gonna get back into it so I'm very very excited to read this series and the last question of the tag is what movie was better than the book? And personally, I don't believe that this movie was better than the book, but I just had a more enjoyable experience watching the movie than reading the book. And that book and movie was Paper Towns by John Green. Now, I loved this book, even though a lot of people don't, another unpopular opinion, but I read this book in one day after I bought it. I literally bought it one day. I think in middle school, read it all in that day and just loved it. It was great. But I hadn't seen the movie even when it came out. I didn't see it for some reason. I just never did. But me and one of my friends watch a movie together every month and we watched this movie one month. And our experience watching it together was honestly just so great. I, I forgot so many things that I loved about this. Like Q's relationship with like his best little guy group is the cutest thing ever. And although, <laughs> Cara Delevingne's portrayal of Margot was not my favorite thing ever. I think she did justice to Margot as a character because people were saying how annoyed they were by Margot in the movie, but like, Margot is just an annoying human being. I don't think that was the actress's fault. And I just really liked the movie. I don't know why. We just really became in tune with it for some weird reason. We just really enjoyed it. And I don't know why, like we were expecting to think it was horrible like everyone else, but we just had this weird love for the movie. And I can't get explain it, but I really liked it. Now for the very, very last question of the tag is the reverse. And that is a book that I thought was better than the movie. I don't know if I said that right in the last question, but the last question was the movie that was better than the book. Okay, so for this is the book that was better than the movie, I'm gonna go with Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. And while I did not dislike this movie, I just thought the book had more to offer overall because I just felt the movie felt rushed because, you know, they didn't want to make it boring because this book is basically just people texting. 
you can't just have a movie of people sitting in their bedrooms texting. So they, you know, they tried to make it cool by adding the artsy, like, transitions and the way that their texting was, like, figurative and stuff. I liked the movie. I just feel like it was felt rushed. It didn't feel like it went into as much depth in the backstory of the families in the movie compared to the book, especially with Ollie's like abusive situation and with the mother's mental situation in this book uh, of Maddie. And I just felt like this book did more justice to the background of the story, but the basic plot was really well portrayed in the movie. I just, I really like this book better than the movie, even though I did enjoy the movie. Okay, so thank you guys all for watching, and I would just like to say that I'm gonna put it in the description below. I did the Unpopular Opinions book tag on my blog in May, and I tried to pick different answers for everything, so you can check that out too if you are interested in seeing even more answers for this tag. And um, just make sure to like and comment and subscribe and take a look at my blog in the description below. And I'll see you all next time in another video. Thank you. Bye.